for the Mother's Day idea this year, I wanted to do something that I think is kind of falling out of favor, and that's the tradition of the Mother's Day corsage. Um, we don't see as many orders for them as we used to, but I think that there are some really fun ways to update them to make something that mom would really be excited about wearing. And what we're doing with this look is we're incorporating this brooch, which actually happened to be my grandma's, so this one's vintage. Um, but there are lots of beautiful little jewelry pieces that you can find on Etsy or find at a local jewelry shop or via a local artist. But it turns the corsage into something more than just a cluster of flowers. It's really an accessory and a, that it becomes a beautiful little piece of jewelry then that mom can keep. So in order to incorporate this corsage, what we're going to do is run a length of wire around the pin in the back. So that way the wire can simply be untwisted and we're not going to damage anything about the corsage, or excuse me, about the piece of jewelry, I should say. So I'm just going to get this wrapped around. And I'm using a nice stiff length of wire so that it's something that's nice and sturdy. So that, because the corsage, or excuse me, the brooch has a little bit of weight to it. So we don't want anything to flop around when it's being worn. And then I'm just going to run the piece of tape to kind of hold that in place so that we don't have any rough exposed wires on the end here. All right. And then we're going to pair this with a flower that's very traditional but that I still think is so sophisticated, and that's the Cymbidium orchids. Um, these come in a wide range of colors. There's Everyone thinks of orchids as being so delicate, but these hold up amazing. It's not uncommon to have a Cymbidium orchid corsage last for a week if it's kept in the fridge in between wearings. I know my grandma would always keep hers as long as possible. So to wire these, we're just using a thinner wire. And we go right down the throat of the flower. Looks like it would hurt, but they don't seem to mind. And then we just add a little bit of tape to the back of that. Again, to cover those wires, you just always want to make sure when you're working on a corsage that you never have any exposed wires so that you don't have anything that could snag, especially if a more delicate fabric is being worn or like a knit sweater, those wires can, can make a pull in there. So we're going to wire up just a couple more of these. Cymbidiums are absolutely some of our favorite flowers to get in because when we open the box of assorted, you never know what color variations you're going to get. So it's like the florist equivalent of a box of chocolates never know what's going to be in there and they're always gorgeous. We have to sit and pick out our favorites. So here is my last one. And rather than using a big traditional fluffy bow, I wanted to keep this a little more sleeker and something that would feel a little more sophisticated. So we're just going to do a simple little bow of ribbon at the very end. All right. So we've got our Simbids and we're just going to pair them together and you always want to think about this being more vertical so that it doesn't get too wide or round. Vertical is more slimming looking so it always looks a little more flattering and we just use the tape to hold them together and then we are going to incorporate our brooch and I'm going to have that come right up over the center of that orchid so it's nice and prominent and again we're using that same tape to hold it in place. And then we're going to finish with this last orchid down in front just to kind of, so we're just going to see a little peak of that rhinestone coming up over the back side. I mean, and if this is something that gram, grandma or mom does wear to church or out to brunch or something, we'll definitely stand out for most of the other corsages just based on that sparkle alone. We're going to take a few little loops of bear grass and just loop that over the orchids. So it creates kind of this, what we call a sheltering technique that draws your eyes in. So it really makes you want to look at the orchids and what's happening inside the corsage. And then that draws your eyes into the sparkle of the brooch. And we are going to add a few of our favorite little locally grown pussy willows, which is just a great way to mimic that gray silver tone in the brooch. And again, it's just that same tape holding it all together. It's kind of like building a little bouquet in your hands. And then we would just finish it off. Like I said, I didn't want to do a big traditional bow, so I'm just going to finish the bottom off with just a really simple bow of just this sheer chocolate. And you could do this in whatever color mom or grandma is going to wear that day. And if I can find the other loop.
So you've just got the little loops and the tails coming down, and you can leave these longer, which I think is kind of pretty, or you can shorten them up. And then we just cut out all the ends of our stems. And this is definitely something you need a wire cutters for, because having all those wires in there makes it a little tougher to get through otherwise. So there you have it, just a very simple, very updated version of a traditional Mother's Day corsage with a wonderful little piece of jewelry that mom gets to keep after. <laughs>